and welcome back to Tattooing Table Flip. I'm Jimmy, and today I'm going to be unboxing Battle Station 2nd Edition from Guerrilla Games. Let's get this thing on the table before I fall down. Okay, let's get this thing open. This box, as you can see, is massive, and it's really heavy. And it doesn't want to open easily there we go very nice box nice smooth uv protected surface very sturdy all right first thing we have here rules of engagement quick start guide there is another separate hardback book with advanced rules that i'll be looking at at the end of the video here i didn't want to include it here it's it's looks like an rpg book you'll see it at the end Rule book here, nice glossy paper. It's pretty thick. It's uh, 32-ish pages, 31 pages. Missions with the setup and such for each one. Wow, this is nice. I like this. Some really cool artwork that reminds me of it's kind of old style independent comic books. Sort of like uh, if you're familiar with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when they first started the Eastman and Laird stuff. This reminds me a lot of that. Index in the back, that's always a plus. I love rule books that have indexes, indices. Hmm, an index, anyway. <laughs> Approaching the game, getting started, sequence of play right off the bat. like a parts list yep components of the game a little bit about the cards a little bit about the uh, map tiles and then it just goes through the rules all right that's great okay now let's dig into the, the real meat of this stuff in oh my god my i am knuckle deep in this box and this is all punch board components <laughs> Wow, there's gonna be a lot to get through. All right, looks like a, a lot of tokens. Oh, I, I literally do not know anything about this game except that it's, uh, uh, you lay out a configuration of the tiles for the map board and you have minis, which are probably this box here. And there's an RPG aspect to it where your characters continue on from one mission to the next. And, uh, that's about it, so I can't wait to really dig in. I don't know. My point is I don't know what any of this stuff does at the moment. But uh, I can't wait to get at the table and figure out. I've been really looking forward to playing this thing for a long time. I like that these are dual-sided, and they have two different, two different sides. So clearly they're used for different things. This board is exactly the same as that one. And yet a third one. Here we go. These are the map tiles. And uh, I'm gonna punch one of these out real quick. Oh, I see. <laughs> yep. There was two, oh, I see. They, the two of them got stuck in from the, the next plat down. Wow, these are nice. They're very thick, nice, sturdy, really solid, nice artwork. These are terrific. Looks like uh, some repeats on these as well. Car could be on the back. Oh, I see. Oh, they're dual sided. Yeah, all right. Of course. They're all the different map configurations. Here we go. Mine layer. They're all titled. I don't know how well you can see it. But uh, very lightly titled engine, cargo bay, cannon, life support, etc. Wow, these are really nice. They have a really nice coating to them. Again, it looks like they repitted a bit. Wow, there was so much in here. No wonder this box was so heavy. Just keep going until we, here we go. <laughs> and uh, 
This is a Starfield, obviously, with, I don't know, again, I don't know how well you can see it, but this says B3 right there, A2 right there. They're marked out very lightly with the, I don't know, sectors, it might be. And then what looks like an action skill mod difficulty, damage checks, it's just a speed, OOC, helm, guns, and shields. Oh, and then we get some more ship stuff on the backs of those. That's great. Some more Starfield stuff. Huh. So apparently we can build... Oh, there's one giant plat of a Starfield. Hmm. Some asteroids at the back. A few more of these. Whoa. Super asteroid field. Wow, these are really nice. Oh, there we are. That was everything. A pad of character sheets. Well, that's cool, they included those. All right. Set that aside for a second. One giant die <laughs> and a bunch of six sided, obviously. Like some uh, some markers, Maybe typical little. Oh, sorry, I was holding them off camera there. Typical little potting stone markers. All right. Nice big bag of color coded base base markers. That's all right. They have a couple of packs of cards. They both say plot twist on the back. But this looks like it's a, sorry again, we're off camera, I'll be darned. Plot twist on the back. This one clearly is some kind of a character card. This does not look like a plot twist, but uh, I want to crack them open and have a quick look here. You'll hold the, bear with me for just a sec, let me, here we go. Get these open. I know they have the little pull strap around them but this just seemed quicker oh these are all plot twists okay it's a nice little design hull fracture double the hull damage done by this volley of dice before rolling a volley of dice for hull damage okay power leak any ship loses one from each power level you know i'm starting with the starfield i'm starting to get the idea that there's probably a starship mini down in there since we might be able, not only is it little minis on a map, but it's probably going to be some starship movement out in space as well. So it'll zoom in and zoom out as needed. That's actually kind of slick, and I really hope that I'm right with that because that would be really cool. Teleporter malfunction. Enemy selects what is teleported, bomb or character. Oh, gee. <laughs> nice little insert in here. Let's have a look through the... Another pack of cards here. Jim James Jam. Hmm. The unique name. It says advanced. There's some abilities and equipment. Fated. This must be some kind of an ability on the back. Smooth. Shock Trooper. It's the type of character. And then it looks like the alien race is at the top. Hmm, I wonder what the color coding means because it, none of them seem to be like all the yellow ones. Bluedian, Trundlian, uh, let's see, what is that one? A Crocodilian, Crocodile Man. <laughs> the point being though is that none of the colors are, say, silicoid red and a silicoid blue. Hmm, I wonder if it's because of the types. Anyway, well, there's loads of them. And then some more of the plot twist cards at the back. That's all right. All right. Now what I wanted to see, the minis for the game. Oh, boy. There we go. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, that's fantastic. This thing is massive. That is terrific. <laughs> Made of a uh, molded plastic. It's not too hard. A little bit of flexibility to him. His gun looks like it might have warped a little bit while it was in the box there. I can heat that up with hot water and then cool it off to bend it back, so that'll be okay. It's some kind of an elephant guy. Looks like he's carrying some kind of a hammer. Yeah, those are all right. Those are the two big ones. Just look at a, a few of these little ones here. Let's see what we've got. Well, that's cool. It's like an insectoid type of a race that uh, you know, it might be a little blurry there. I don't know how well you can see it. That's pretty cool. Oh, these are amazing. Whoop. The various little alien critters that you probably, oh, it's a lion man you have to deal with or fight against, I suppose. No, it looks like he's gonna stay blurry. Sorry, can't get a very good shot of those. I'll try to get some footage of these that I can insert. Well, I dropped another one, probably right up here in the corner as we go through these here. Uh, the, they might not match the same ones I'm holding, but uh, we'll get some. I'll get some shots and insert it so there's a little better, better quality video than you know seeing them blurry in the middle of my hand. These are fantastic. A lot of little robots and oh my gosh! All right, let's, let's have a peek at some of these other medium size out of the other bag. like a human. There we are. And uh, there's plenty of these Doctor Who, Star Trek, rock, lava, blob monsters with guns at the top. <laughs> oh, those are great. And then a bunch of humans. I like that one a lot. That's all right. Let's see if we can get a few more, some other different types down in here. Oh my gosh, that is terrific. The, the sculpts on these are outstanding. I'm really digging these models. It's like a bunch of tentacles or a tree with a gun. I kind of wanted to see that one. <laughs> this one I think I'm going to call John Woo. Dual wielding space alien. That's great. And there's a few of these little guys toting a knife. Oh, wow. Those are terrific. Yep, pretty much kind of the same to the, the rest of it. Well, that's it. Those are really cool. I love these models. This is going to be... It's going to be a lot of fun just to goof around with the models, if nothing else. I hope that the game would stand up to it. I'm going to have a look at the rules and then I'll be back with some final thoughts in just a minute. Holy cow, look at all of this stuff. There is a massive amount of game packed into this box. This is why it was so heavy. The bulk of it is a lot of these punch board uh, game mats, but uh, man, it's oh, there's just a, a huge amount of stuff. Uh, there's 44 character miniatures, including a little starship miniature, I was right. That, as I mentioned during the unboxing, there's a little ship miniature. The star maps you lay out to the side of the map you lay out with these, and uh, you move this around in space as you're also moving your characters and doing your things in the ship. I haven't had a very deep read of the rules yet, but uh, it appears that your characters each have a role, and there are four roles included in the game, and in the quick start guide that came in the base box here, you get eight missions that string together to form a campaign, meaning that once you pick a character, that character advances, and that is the role-playing aspect to the game. This is a 
pretty interesting idea to me. I have a couple of other games that kind of do the same thing. So it's not new to me, but I, I love this idea, this mechanic of minis on a map game where the characters can progress and evolve and get better and stronger. Um, then, as a quick aside, uh, this is the book I was talking about during the unboxing. This thing is massive. This is the advanced rule book, and as you can see, it's pretty thick. It's pretty hefty. If you um, have ever owned or do own any RPG books, hardback RPG books, it's about the same size. It's about the same heft, and there is a ton of stuff in here. It's way too much to go to into in this video, but there's a lot of other stats and more missions, and holy cow, it's just loads and loads of stuff. Well worth picking up if you pick up the base game as well. The minis are uh, really high quality, as you saw during the unboxing. They're very well detailed. I really like them a lot. They're um, It's a soft enough plastic that they're not going to break from handling, but unfortunately this means that, I don't know if you can see this very well, but like this guy's gun is drooping. So at one point or another, these things probably were a little heated, meaning, and then, meaning the plastic has bent a little bit just from them laying around. They're not broken. They're not ruined. Uh, there's a trick of using hot water. You dip them in hot water for a few minutes and then, you know, you can straighten them out and dip them in cold water and it fixes the problem. It's an easy thing to do. So if you if you do pick up the set and you run into that, it's it's a simple solution. You know, there's no reason to get uptight about it. Uh, everything seems to have a, all of the punch boards, I should say, seem to have a very nice and solid coating to them. So, um, you know, these things are going to get handled a lot during play because you'll be setting up, according to each mission, the layout of the ship. And uh, so, they seem to be pretty high quality and I like the coating on them and stuff, so they should hold up pretty well despite taking a lot of handling. Uh, let's see, the colored bases over there, I, if I haven't mentioned this already, <laughs> correspond to the colors on the cards. During the unboxing I was wondering what the colors at the tops of the cards meant and that's what those are for. So when you take a character card, it's got a color on it, your colored base attachment is to, to help you, you know, uh, uh, keep track of whose figure is whose based on the card you have in front of you and there's four roles in the game and uh, those correspond also to the colors of the roles and uh, let's see oh uh you want to have a good mix of roles in the game uh there's boatloads of these plot twist cards and the pad for your character sheets over there uh these sheets here control the uh operations on the starship when it's zoomed out onto the starship mini on the star map the game the box says from one to what is it nine players something like that one to like a, a huge group of people can play this game but as i'm looking through the book uh, i didn't immediately see anything that talked about solo play so i'm really interested to get into that because this is the type of thing i really like and if i can solo play this that would be great but the game it, uh, normally is a one against all and I know some people don't necessarily dig that but uh, I I like it I think it's fine like it's Imperial Assault does the same thing as an example um, so I don't know I gotta I gotta dig into it a little more to see what the solo rules are all about uh, I haven't even begun to look through the advanced rule book yet except just to sort of briefly glance through it but uh, wow I am I am super impressed and with what little bit I did read of the rules already I think it's going to be a really solid game. I'm going to have a proper review of this coming soon. Just, you know, I do all these unboxings and eventually get around <laughs> to reviewing them. Uh, but uh, as soon as I can, I'm going to have a proper review of this one up because this is one that I'm super excited for. Uh, I think that's going to do it. There's really not much more I can say right now about it. Uh, you can find me online at BoardGamerBlues.com or you can find me at the socials. I am at BoardGamerBlues pretty much everywhere, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Or you can email me directly. It's J-I-M-M-I-E at BoardGamerBlues.com. And I have an Instagram account also at BoardGamerBlues. Uh, let's see what else. We have a Patreon. It's Patreon.com slash Tatooine Table Flip. If you head over there, chuck a buck at us, we'd appreciate it. It helps us keep these lights on and everything cooking around here as we go along. Um, that's about it. Oh, uh, we have the podcast, Tatooine Table Flip as well, although that's kind of on hiatus at the moment, but it'll be back. 
yeah, I think that's going to do it. This is Battle Stations. This is the second edition of this game. I have no idea what the first edition was like. I, I just found out about the second edition and uh, wanted to get into it. And here we are. Thanks for watching, you guys. I will see you next time on Tatooine Table Flip. Bye. We'll